Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so just to continue where we left off yesterday. Now we said earlier, right, combining the right idea for a um, and with the right technology will be the key ingredient for a successful project or for successful implementation for a service that would gain international mass appeal as we saw previously in the different apps that we basically cannot live without today, right? Uh, Uber, Airbnb, WhatsApp, and others. So it depends on the te technology that end when you combine with the right use case. And that's when you can gain this the, the momentum for you to be able to launch that specific idea, right? So it is important for you to decide that we have to ensure that we make the right choice for the right technology for that specific use case. You may not, not require blockchain for, for your use case. You may require AI. You may require something else, right? It just depends on that specific use case. But our objective here is to be able to decide, do you need blockchain for your use case or for your project? Yes or no. And if so, what kind of a blockchain platform will you require in order to maintain your com competitive advantage and be able to launch a successful project or an, an app or an application for that specific service, right? So next up we have here uh, the current reality, right? The COVID-19 pandemic. And what is the impact of it in today's business world or today's in enterprises? Now, if you are currently running an organization or a business or a company or you have your own startup or your own venture, you may or may not have been impacted by the COVID-19 in some form or another, whether it's a negative impact or a positive impact, depending on your industry and depending on your um, company, right? So for example, a lot of the online meeting conferences have gained exponential growth as a result of the pandemic, such as Zoom and others. Other companies have suffered greatly negative impact, um, hotels, airlines, and so on. So it depends on what area your industry was in. But the very important rule here is this, the 80-20 rule principle. Now this is taken from the, um, from the book called The Answer by Alan and Barbara Pierce. Uh, it's a great book and it's based on a true story uh, which talk about the ups and downs of running a successful enterprise and running a successful venture and losing everything and then building that venture again from from the ground up right so in one of the chapters they talk about the 80 20 rule and here's the reality 80 percent of, you, of your sales so 80 percent of your sales revenue is coming from 20 percent of your customers right 80% of your sales revenue is going to be coming from 20% of your customers or the top 20% of your customers. And this is a huge and a massive uh, ratio, right? Because um, if you lose any 20% of those customers, it's going to have a direct and a major impact on your bottom line, right? So that's why we have to ensure that that 20% of your customers will not leave you to your competition. Because if they do, the risk is huge on your bottom line and it will impact you negatively. So how to prevent your top 20% of your customers from leaving you, right? One option um, is to provide an, a new innovative technology, right, in your existing products and services, right? So what happens here is we can focus on, there are many different options for you to maintain your 20% of your customers, right, as, as much as you can. Loyalty programs, uh, discounts, promotions, preferential treatment, and so on, VIP treatment, and, and all that. But one of the core ingredients that your customers will be always looking for is that are you using the latest innovative technology to provide them the best competitive uh, service and the best price points in the marketplace, right? So by using the latest innovative, innovative technologies, ingenuity technologies, and uh, it will help ensure that your customers will not be leaving you. And in this course, we'll be talking about specifically how existing companies, traditional retail banks and um, procurement companies have leveraged blockchain as a technology for them to be able to maintain their existing customer base, to avoid their customers from leaving them and from churning and going to their competition, right? It is a critical point here. So in this case, today's pandemic uh, because of the COVID-19, customers are now a lot more demanding than they ever were, right? They have a huge demand. And basically, 
if they see that there's a startup or your competition is offering is offering better competitive lower prices than you then guess what they're going to be jumping straight to them right they won't i mean they won't think twice about it they're just going to leave you for your competition if there's a startup or a new venture or a new company who launch a new service competing with yours and the, their price point is lower than yours guess what your customers are going to go to that service provider immediately without even thinking twice right so it's imperative for us to be able to think what are the latest technologies for us to be able to provide to ensure and mitigate the risk of our top 20 percent of your customers leaving us for the competition right so the biggest option here is blockchain how can you leverage blockchain as a new latest innovative technology that can provide a lower price points for your end customers and a better service quality for your end customers to ensure they don't leave you to your competition to ensure they don't churn to ensure they don't jump to your competition right so this is what we're going to be talking about in this course different use cases uh, the second point here is existing versus acquiring new customers it costs you four times less to maintain existing customers than to acquire new ones right so it's a lot more cost effective for you to maintain your existing customers and doing as much as you can with every single option available on the table to ensure your customers especially your top 20 percent of your customers do not leave you because guess what if your customers leave you there's no way they're going to come back to you absolutely not and it's going to cost you four times more to be able to acquire new customers than to maintain your existing customers right which is why uh, when you consider the bottom line it is a lot more com cost competitive advantage for you to maintain your existing customers as much as you can so what do you do you invest in new technology in your existing services you leverage new technology such as blockchain or others into your existing services to improve your quality standards and to ensure you're providing the lowest price points for your customers to maintain them and to make and to ensure that they're getting the fair price in the marketplace because if your competition is leveraging blockchain or any other technology and they're able to provide a better service quality than you can then guess what you will lose to them and that's why we're going to be talking here about different use cases of how to employ blockchain as a technology in your existing services and your products or to help you launch new services and products to be able to maintain your competitive advantage and your unique selling proposition for your end customers right okay guys i'm going to stop right here and then we'll continue on in the next lesson